Alex is someone that I have dreamed about since I was a little girl. I never would have believed that the 17-year-old boy with shaggy, curly blonde hair and a cute, dippled smile would grow into the strong, hardworking, and loving man that will be waiting for me as I walk toward him in my beautiful white wedding dress. Through the years we dated, we grew together, prayed together, sacrificed together, argued together, and even laughed together. But most importantly, we loved together. Through my sleepless night, because of the excitement that Alex will become my husband, I can't help to think as I get ready how blessed I am and God's wonderful faithfulness to give me an incredible man to share this life with and watch it grow. Today we make a covenant as husband and wife that we will forever love one another and fight for this life we are about to build. Today is the day we will remember and cherish as our hair turns gray and the wrinkles crowd the spaces on our cheeks. This is the beginning of our journey together and lots of memories will be made. I'll never forget that this is a once in a lifetime love and I will always look at Alex and call him home because home is where I want to be. I choose Alex this day and every day. All of my love for all of my life, Wesley Alexander Davis. See you at five o'clock. Don't be late. Growing up, I always prayed that God would bring the right woman to my life. One that would love the Lord. One that would be humble. One that would put others before herself. One that would support me in all things I do. One that listens to me and hears what I have to say. Cecily was my high school sweetheart. Cecily went to every single dance with me, even prom. We spent many a day riding town just enjoying each other's time. From first jobs to first cars, I was there. All I wanted to do was to be around this girl. When I was around her, my problems and worries didn't matter. Here we are, and I'm getting married to my best friend, my soulmate, my everything. We have matured and grew even closer to one another. I'm glad me and Cecily started dating at a young age. It let us mature together and experience life together. I'm grateful that me and Cecily have been blessed with each other. I hope that today is the best day of our entire life because all this is for her. I love you, Cecily, forever and always. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It's never being too old to hold hands. It's remember to say I love you at least once a day. It's never going to sleep angry. It's standing together to face the world. It's speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. And it's having the willingness to always forgive. It's not only marrying the right partner, it's being the right partner. A wedding that we're experiencing here today is an event, but marriage is a process that only you can make successful by honoring and living out the vows that you will make to each other today. In marriage, you will always either be growing together or growing apart. So we wish for you to always be growing together. We wish that on the day in the far distant future, when you're both much older than you are right now, that you look into each other's eyes as you're going to be doing here this evening. And may you say to each other, I love you. And because God sent you into my life, I became a better person. I, Wesley Alexander Davis. I, Wesley Alexander Davis. Take you, Cecily Yvonne Proctor. Take you, Cecily Yvonne Proctor. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or worse. For better or worse. For richer or poor. For richer and poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. And to be faithful to you alone. And to be faithful for you alone. As long as we both shall live. What? As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. It's be a long time, Alex. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cecily, look in Alex's eyes and say, I, Cecily Yvonne Proctor. I, Cecily Yvonne Proctor. Take you, Wesley Alexander Davis. Take you, Wesley Alexander Davis. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or worse. For better or worse. For richer or poor. For richer or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. 
to love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. And to be faithful to you alone. And to be faithful to you alone. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Alex and Cecily, you've come before God and these witnesses today to express your desire to be husband and wife. By the joining of hands, by the reciting of vows, by the exchanging of rings, and sharing communion together, you have shown your love and devotion to each other. I therefore pronounce that you are husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no person separate. Alex, you may kiss your bride. There's one thing that I do know about these two. Um, they have dedication. Dating for over six years and staying loyal the whole time. Now that's love. And they really inspire me, you know? It's hard to find that these days. And they are truly passionate about each other. I mean, you can just tell by how they look at one another, especially up here on stage. It's really beautiful. Alex has waited and fought for Cecily. He finally got out of the friend zone but the reason he never gave up was because he had seen her heart and knew it was made for him. God made each of them with the other in mind. Anyone can see how perfect you two are together. I stand here today honored to know each of you as individuals, a couple, and now husband and wife. I pray blessings over y'all's new marriage, and that is all God has planned for you both. I love you lots. May the Lord bless you, and may the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious to you and give you his peace. May the Lord bless your going out and your coming in. May the Lord bless you with his favor and peace, love and joy and abundance. May the Lord bless your children and your children's children. And may he give you the desires of your heart and may the divine purposes of your life be supernaturally accomplished. May you hear the word of Jabez. Oh, that you would bless me indeed and increase my territory. May these blessings come to you and to those you love in Jesus' name.